lights, camera, action. Over the years, I've worked with hundreds, maybe thousands of women business owners, many of whom are coaches, life coaches, business coaches, fitness coaches, and many more. And I've discovered that there is one marketing strategy that boosts a coach's chance of success into the stratosphere. It's appearing on camera. I used to think that it was just common knowledge that a coach must appear on camera in videos, social media posts, and pictures if they want to get clients and earn money. After all, you are literally your product. But many of my clients are terrified about appearing on camera because they think they're not pretty enough or not professional enough or some other insecurity. Feeling comfortable on camera is essential for building your coaching brand and for connecting with your potential clients. Stick around because I'm sharing seven smart ways you can increase your confidence so you can be the face of your business. Let's go. Number one. Practice, practice, practice. I know this sounds trite, but it's true and completely underutilized. One of the most effective ways to gain confidence on camera is through practice. Start recording yourself, even if it's just for practice, because the more you do it, the more comfortable and natural you'll become in front of the camera. Think of one nugget of wisdom that you share with your clients over and over again something that you mention repeatedly. Then pull out your smartphone and record yourself as if you were explaining that concept to a client. Let yourself be messy and stumble over your words, but just keep filming. Do this again for another short tip and then another. You don't need to share these practice videos, but you could. It's all about getting used to the recording process. Number two, start with short videos. If you're super nervous about appearing on camera, then maybe starting with short videos can be less intimidating. Shorter videos, maybe 30 seconds to three minutes long, require less time commitment, less editing, if any, and fewer opportunities for overthinking. Make a list of short and sweet topics that are related to your coaching niche. A business coach like me might write down tips to build your email subscriber list, while a wellness coach might write down tips for overcoming burnout. Then focus on sharing one valuable tip or insight per video. These can be TikToks, Instagram Reels, YouTube Shorts, or other short form content. Number three, create a professional environment. This one is a biggie. I've had more than a few clients tell me that the number one reason that they don't film videos is because they don't have a nice place to record or their house is super messy. I get it. It's hard to appear professional when in the background is your cat's litter box and your kid's toys are scattered everywhere. Take the time to set up a designated filming area that has good lighting and minimal distractions. I film most of my videos in my home office, but any clear and clean space in your home will work. You might want to add some personal touches like motivational quotes or artwork or books to make the space feel like your own. And if you really and truly don't have a proper place to record in your home, then you definitely want to check out today's sponsor, Alliance Virtual Offices. What is a virtual office exactly? It's like having a physical office minus the expensive lease. I recently filmed in one of Alliance's co-working spaces and their locations are perfect options for your videos. Alliance has more than 1400 locations complete with on-site staff, secure mail services, virtual addresses and phones, and professional meeting spaces available whenever you need them. Click the link below to set up your account with Alliance Virtual Offices and then check out the offices and co-working spaces in your area. Spend the day recording multiple videos in a beautiful location and then you can schedule out those videos in advance. Hey there! If you're new here, allow me to introduce myself. I'm Sage Grayson, and I'm a former book editor turned life and business coach. I'm a life editor, and so are you. 
please be sure to hit that subscribe button so you won't miss any of my videos to help you get stuff done while still having fun. And I just want to say a big thank you and welcome to all of my new subscribers here on my YouTube channel. When you like, comment, and subscribe, it tells YouTube to share my videos with other life editors just like you. So thank you, thank you, thank you for all your continued love and support. Number four, use notes or outlines. It won't surprise you to learn that I use outlines and scripts for every one of my videos. I'm reading off a script right now. A clear outline or notes act as a guide for your video so you won't forget your main points or anything that you want to say. And an outline prevents you from getting tongue-tied and having long, awkward pauses. An outline helps you stay on track and cover all the essential points without getting lost. Remember to create an outline or bullet points for your next videos and then keep them close by as you're filming. Or you can do what I do and take your script and tape it up right under your camera. <laughs> See, I'm not as super smooth as I appear to be. I just have my script right in front of me. Number five, record multiple takes. If you watch any of my videos on my YouTube channel from a decade ago, you will notice something very strange. Please don't, I'm super embarrassed by my old videos. But I used to record all of my videos in one extremely long take without any editing. This was out of necessity because at the time, I didn't know how to edit videos. So I wrote my scripts, memorized every word, and then recorded my videos in one intense take. Thankfully, today it is easier than ever to edit your videos, and you can even do it on your phone. So give yourself permission to record multiple takes. There's no need to be a perfectionist, but say your lines a few times until you get the words and inflection just right. Loosen up and have fun with the process. Doing multiple takes gives you the repetition needed to relax and be yourself on camera. Number six. Be authentic and vulnerable. Authenticity is powerful on camera, so embrace your true self and be vulnerable when sharing your experiences and stories. This helps you connect more genuinely with your audience. Think back on your personal journey and the challenges that you've overcome. Then incorporate these experiences into your videos to build deeper connections with your viewers. Many of my most popular videos are when I share the mistakes that I've made with my business so you can learn from my challenges. And number seven, focus on the message, not perfection. Here's the truth. Your clients and followers and subscribers don't care about you having the best setup, the best editing, the best wardrobe, the best sound, or any of that stuff. They just want the information that can change their lives. Yes, appearing super polished can help, but I've seen plenty of slick channels out there that don't offer any substance. And I've seen just as many low-budget newbie channels that have dynamite strategies that would blow your mind. Authenticity and passion are way more important than trying to appear flawless on video. Challenge yourself to record a video where you simply speak from the heart instead of worrying about being super smooth. It's okay to stumble and make mistakes because your authenticity will resonate with your audience. Just get your message out there to the folks who really need to hear it. That's it. This week, try these seven smart strategies to feel more confident on camera as a coach. Building your on-camera presence will strengthen your coaching business so you can help more people. And please remember to click the link below to set up your account with Alliance Virtual Offices so you always have a professional space to record your videos. Want more? Watch this video next to learn three ways to break out of your comfort zone in your business.